Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog and we are in Ibiza again. Can't quite believe we're here and we are child free. We, I can't, I just, it feels surreal to be sat here on a sunbed, um, not like chasing after a kid or like just to be care, carefree again. Like we've not been away from the kids since Adam proposed to me three, two years ago, two and a half years ago now. Mm -hmm. um, and we went on a skiing holiday. So obviously that wasn't like a relaxing holiday. It was very full on. We were up at like seven on the slopes all day, knackered at the end of the day, and then done it again the next day for, the, like, for three days in a row. So um, this is like gonna be so relaxing and chill. I just, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Just me and Adam. Um, we're actually at our wedding venue. We've come back. We just spoke with our wedding planner, Lucy, who is part of Malvo Weddings. And we just went, we had like a few questions that we wanted to kind of speak to in person and kind of sort out the table plan and know in our head like where the tables are going to be going. Um, I feel like I'm really laid back. Well, we, me and Adam are both really laid back, but it goes with the Spanish etiquette like they're very laid back she said like you can literally leave your flowers two months before the wedding um so it's just crazy to think like what the uk is like you, you it takes like nearly two years to plan a uk wedding um so yeah we're here we've got a day bed for we've got two sun beds for the day i've actually booked to come here for dinner as well because they've changed some of the lighting so there used to be fairy lights wrapped around all of the trees and that they don't do that anymore. So we kind of want to come back in the evening just to see what it's like and then decide what we want extra to be done to make it even more wow. Like really, we barely need to do anything to this venue. It's so rustic, so beautiful and raw. Like you, you really could get away with doing nothing, which I need to keep reminding myself because I get a little bit carried away on Pinterest. <laughs> Know, babe. So yeah, we're here today. I might do a little walk through. I don't know. I've showed you, I've showed you it before, haven't I? Um, in previous vlogs. Um, so this the sunbeds are actually part of the venue, but they obviously closed this bit when um, there's a wedding on. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know if you can see a little bit of it. So it's up there that I'll actually be getting married. I'll be getting married. So up here, we. we in front of this tree here is where me and Adam will do our vows and then all our guests will sit along here along the sides and I come walking down these steps here and I'll walk around our tables and then that will take me to the aisle where like everyone will watch me walk down so yeah I think that's the first time I've um, showed you it like like that I think every time we've come here we've got like the kids with us and like I can't just get my camera out and talk for anything like when they're here so um, yeah that gives you a little insight of what it's like um, so yeah just excited to be here so I'm gonna vlog the next few days because I always like to look back on these they're always nice to look back on and of course I will show you all of my outfits in this one <laughs> I promise starting on the cocktails and bread and alioli of course we have been in for a swim and now we're just going to So because we're back here for dinner, we've just gone for some piggy bits. Adam's got like a cheese and what's this? Sausage? Yeah. And then I've just got some chicken nuggets. And this is their chips. They're like crisps basically. Mine's actually off the kids menu. Standard me. We are now in a thunderstorm in Ibiza, still drinking wine. <laughs> We've been in the sea for a romantic <laughs> thingy swim. Was it raining swim? Oh, there it is. But look at this. <laughs> Well, the storm is here and we're like, everyone is stuck in Calagana Sonata and it's wild. 
we're back now. We got so <laughs> soaked. We ended up just, um, we went in the sea first of all when it first started raining and it was like really, really nice. It reminded us of when we were in Thailand, like before children. And then we, it like really, really started to pour down and we were the last people on the beach. So then we went into Calagresinata and it was just flooding it down. But the work people, they just get on with it and they're like run around, they're getting soaked and they're like, it, oh, the atmosphere was amazing. Um, we've just got back to the hotel and checked in properly. But it's the sister hotel of the one that we came here with the kids a few months ago anyway. So I just thought I would show you today's outfit because I've already failed at showing you. But here we are, we've got this nice big mirror in our room. But this is House of CB dress that I got last summer. Tie, bow ties, it is a little bit of annoying and it is a bit of a nuisance because the ties are so long and heavy that they do come undone a lot and I feel like I'm always saying to Adam, can you tie my bows up again? Um, but it is beautiful, really, really beautiful. And we're gonna get ready now. We're due to be going back to Cala Grasanata for dinner, just to see what it's like in the evening, to get an idea of what it's gonna be like for the wedding. Um, but it was practically flooded. <laughs> So we will see. The rain has stopped now though, so just gonna get ready for the evening. This is tonight's outfit. Annoyingly, this is as bright as the light goes. So top is Pretty Little Thing, and it's in at the moment. I got it, it arrived literally the day we were going on holiday. Zips up at the back. I was worried that it would be too small. I think I actually got a 10 in this. Um, so I sized up, I'm pretty sure. It's like a corset style but it's really soft and yeah, just really soft and not too clingy. Um, shorts are the Zara straight leg ones, which I have been wearing all summer. If you haven't got these, I would get them for next summer. I'm sure they'll be around anyway on Zara next year. And then cowboy boots, so that's the full look. And then I don't think the lighting in here is very good. And then I've just got my little black vintage bag. So that is tonight's look. Got pink lip as well. We have come to Cafe Mambo. I can't get Adam in, he's too tall. Well, he tries to not be in it. But the last time we were here, in the last vlog, Pollyanna, we just turned up, um, got seated at our table, and then Pollyanna was really poorly, so we took her home. But the sunset tonight wasn't very good, which we expected anyway. Um, and now we're gonna head to Calagrasanata again and go for dinner. The steak that I had there is honestly the best tasting steak I've ever had. And I've obviously got Rosmia and I don't have my full taste back 100%, but it tasted good, like so good. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. And then maybe we're gonna go down the West End and find some karaoke bars. If we if we can make it. We almost got a magnum bottle of this Green Angel earlier. We ordered it and then the guy came back and was like, I'm so sorry, we've got it saved for a wedding or something. Which he probably done us a favour. And he still tried to charge us for it. Yeah, they did add it onto the bill actually. But um yeah, I think he done us a favour by us not getting that because we would have been pickled right now. I feel pretty okay still, considering we've had quite a few little drinks. As I just said, I'm gonna try you on a normal bottle of rosé when we go in there, and you probably won't even know the difference. I probably wouldn't, I don't, I don't know. Don't do it tonight though, do it another day. But he always says he's gonna do that, he always says he's gonna give me Diet Coke, or like cola, instead of Coca-Cola, and see if I know the difference, but I 1,000% would know the difference. Maybe not right now, because I can't actually taste Coca Cola. Um, but. Half price wine. Yeah, I know, but it's. it's, it's my we're favourite! Not, by the way, we're not talking half price cheap way. <laughs> it's still 50 euros a bottle compared to 85 euros a bottle. I know, but I just like the really, really light rose. Like, I like Coach Provence. Like, coming, coming from me, like, honestly, I used to just order the toppest, like, the one that comes at the top of the menu, like, before I met Adam. And then he started, like, telling me a bit more about wine because he goes on these really posh wine trips and gets absolutely drinks way too much and he doesn't actually learn anything but he he does he has taught me a little bit so I know what my favorite wines are I like them really really pale so like yeah a coat de Provence and 
That's it, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. <laughs> but it's nice. No, but it just it's nice to know what you like. But like I used to look at a wine menu and I would just pick the one at the top, cheap it. Now you pick the one at the bottom. Now I pick the one at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's taking photos. He's like a little food vlogger these days. And then we've got corn on the cob. I've got the fillet steak. And then this is the setting at night. Look at the sea. I just love it even more at night time. Look at the sea. What is it lit up by? Is that just the moon? Huh? There's no lights there, is there? There's a bit of light. We've got all this. But then when you look at it from over here, and looking back on the venue, oh, it just makes me so excited. We're going to be here, getting married, very, very soon. We <laughs> blew in here today, so this is today's outfit. You may remember I wore this dress on Adam's birthday. Um, I did do a vlog on it, so there was like a little snippet of us in there, of me wearing this. But this is actually a Zara dupe. Um, the Zara one was um, a real linen dress, but this one is from Cara Mella. And they kindly sent it to me. And I thought I'd wear it and show you it because the price difference, obviously the Zara one was about 50 to 60 pound. And this one is, I think in the 30s price range but it is exactly the same apart from the fabric, but once it's on, it looks no different. It has the tie belt, it has the beautiful print, and it flows out very nicely, just like the Zara one did. That's why I love the Zara one as well, but like this, and obviously that one is no longer in stock. So it was my most swiped up for item um, of the summer, so I thought I would share this one with you because it's in stock and available still. And then I've paired it with my studio by Charlotte Sandals, which again, if you haven't got your hands on these yet, I would definitely get them because I wanted them last year, didn't get them, really regretted it, and I've worn them so much. They're the only sandals that I've taken away with me both times that we've come to Ibiza. They're just, they just go with everything. They're so versatile and they're just so pretty. Everyone asks, how do they stay on your feet? But excuse my toenails, by the way, I haven't had them done. Um, everyone asks how they stay on your feet, but it's just they tie at the back and then this bit like obviously supports your ankle and keeps them on. So we are off to Blue Marlin's. Also my studio by Charlotte Basket Bag, which matches my sandals. And again, I've worn this so much this summer. It just looks really cute. I really like this outfit. So we have just got to Blue Marlin. We've got a day bed right at the front. Well, second row, but it's beautiful. Like second row to the sea. It's just so nice. I've never been to Blue Marley before. So yeah, I've never been to Blue Marley before. And like you can see, all the beds when you come to Ibiza, you have to have like a minimum spend to get them. Um, they all vary in prices at all of the beach clubs. And what beach is this one? Um, I don't actually even know what, um, what side this is. The southern one. side of the, the island. South side, yeah. I've got no idea, but yeah, I've not been here before. This has been on my wish list to come. Wish list? My visit list? To do this. To do this. Yeah, so yeah, it's really, really nice. <laughs> so we've just ordered lunch. It's livened up a little bit now. Steak sandwich, some french fries. Well, they're chips actually. Prawns and some pajon peppers. So 
we just went for our second swim of the day and obviously I told you didn't I? I think I said that Adam last time he was here he got stung by a jellyfish on his chest. Well we're swimming, we like sw we swim out to the boys and then we come back and on the way back like I said to him like my foot was tingling and I said oh I must have swam through like some jellyfish things because my feet are tingling and he's like oh yeah and then all of a sudden my arm I got stung by a jellyfish it was black was it black stuck. yeah anyway it got stuck on my arm and it wrapped its tentacle all the way around you can literally see where it's the tentacle where it's wrapped around my arm and I can't swear but it is killing me. It's already come up lumpy. The guys at Blue Marlin have put some special cream on for jellyfish sting. Um, but oh my god, you can see its tentacle straight away. Even the guy was like, oh my god, he's, he's wrapped his arm, it's wrapped its leg around you. It's tentacle, not leg. It really, really hurts. I need more alcohol now. Can you see it? I might not be able to because it's so sunny, but it hurts. outfit of the night I'm wearing this ASOS dress and the cowboy boots again my gold dress that I was planning to wear annoyingly tore and ripped so I'm going with this option tonight I have gone for the villa <laughs> My face looks really pale. Um, so today I'm wearing this caramella dress. It's such a nice one to put in your suitcase for holiday because it's so easy to throw on. It doesn't need an iron. Can't really see, but it's like ruffledy. I've worn this once before already, and I wore it with cowboy boots. But today I'm wearing it with my pearly sandals. These are literally the only sandals I brought away with me. So we are off to Calabasa. Um, CBBC, um, just to go get another day bed on there and I will catch up with you in the taxi because I didn't catch up with you yesterday. Um, give you a little update on yesterday, last night and I will speak to you soon. These shoes are just the shoes that keep on giving. Every time I look down at my feet I just think they're so pretty. We have not been very organized at all today so we headed to Calabasa Beach Club and we we tried to look online but it was all in Spanish so it was hard to know what the what was available and the costs and we got there and it was 
two, all the, it was 250 euros for the bed, just the bed, so that wasn't like a minimum spend, which is what the other ones had been. It was literally just 250 for the bed. And I said to Adam, I was like, I don't really see the point. Like it's literally, t and it wasn't even on the beach, they were up high and I don't know, I personally think like it's a bit of a waste of money. There was no atmosphere, no music. You know, like yesterday, Blue Marlin was so good and it was like what you spent was what you there was like a minimum spend but you didn't pay for the bed you just pay for what you have kind of thing so like the money that you're spending goes towards things that you're actually buying if that makes sense we thought oh, there's no point and it included a bottle of champagne but we're both not not feeling like drinking today so we've come just, just come to Cotton Beach to try and get a bed there but they're all fully booked um, the deck chairs are fully booked so we've found some sun loungers a little bit further down at Chiringuito Calatarida um, it's right by the hotel that we're staying at for the wedding oh no bottle of coke okay it's not is it it's not that's too much for a bottle of coke a bottle of coke wouldn't fit in there. Adam's trying to palm me off and say that there's a bottle of coke in there. It's like literally two litres. I know it's pump. It's still stush. <laughs> I'm not stush, I just don't like pump coke. I would have had Fanta. Oh. Um, so yeah, we're on Calatarida today. And we're just going to take it easy. Last night we went to STK. And oh my goodness, I really, really recommend. I recommend you doing everything we done yesterday. Blue Marlin was amazing. Even though I got stung by jellyfish. It was so, so good. Um, I'm thinking of having my hen do that. It was Hello. just so brilliant. Hello. Hello. No, thank Did you. you. Have a break? No, it's and then we went okay, to STK no, after and it was so good like the food was amazing they had like loads of dancers and different acts going on like every 20 minutes there was something different like light shows or dances or um, they had like a band one played the violin one played the saxophone one was DJing and they were amazing we spoke about having them at our wedding um, so I need to email them today actually because they do do weddings so it's literally everything I wanted a violinist and Adam wanted a saxophone and we were struggling to find someone that played the violin in Ibiza and them like them together like, I'll include some clips of them amazing it was so good the food was amazing Adam was so drunk though <laughs> he was really really drunk he was really pickled I don't know how I stayed sober Birthday. He told the guys it was my birthday and they all brought out a bottle of champagne and <laughs> sorry it ran out of um, memory there, I had to delete some things. Um, so yeah, he told them it was my birthday and they brought out big like fire sparklers, they played like this, this like, it was like a mix of it's my birthday, it's my birthday and then it was like go shorty, it's your birthday. And then there was like dancers dancing all around me. And I was so not in the mood for it. I was like, what are you doing? Why have you just done this? And then, um, yeah, but like, I'd li we'd literally just decided to go. I said to Adam, oh, after that, we had almost, yeah, half a bottle of wine left and we were like ready to go. And then he ordered a bottle of champagne. I don't even drink champagne. I did drink it all though, but we were going to go anyway. We were actually going to leave the champagne on the table and give it to the staff because I didn't want it and like, I was ready to go. But then they moved us um, from our table, which you can either book a table for two hours or book a table for all night. We've done it all night. I really recommend doing that. Um, but they moved us closer like to the stage. So we were like right under the stage at this point. And then after that, I was like, okay, give me the champagne. And then... Um, it was just so much fun, it was so good. Like people, yeah, it was brilliant. Like They did say that it was a bit restricted because of COVID. It's normally like even livelier. Um, but it was just absolutely fantastic. Food was so good. You get to, they, um, Adam had lobster. I had steak. They had like fish options. Um, but the steak, like it's like a build your own steak. So you choose the weight, you choose the cut, and then you choose if, what, if you want something on top of it. So I think it was like, um, crushed pepper, there was like bacon, um, 
there was like loads of different options and then you also get to pick your sauce and then your sides oh it was just so good i had like a red wine sauce with french fries and it was oh really tasty adam had lobster said it was really good you probably can't remember though he was so drunk it was so it was so it's okay funny. to be drunk. I know, but you know that when one of us gets drunk quicker than the other, the other one slows down because you, you know you've got to look after him. It's not always me. It is like a race who can get drunk first because one of you you know that the other person is going to look after the other one. Fun to get off. No, because we wouldn't have got home. <laughs> I always make it home. <laughs> you wouldn't have got home. Oh, it's very, very funny. And then... Yeah, so just like a chill day today. I don't think I'm going to drink. And yeah, go for a little swim. Hope I don't get stung by jellyfish jet again. Ski. Maybe get a jet ski. Adam wants to get a jet ski. Um, my jellyfish sting. For those, if you ever get stung by jellyfish, the guys had some cream. I'm actually going to start taking that away with me whenever we go away. Just in case. Why are you laughing? Just in case. Yeah, just in case. It was really good. So you don't put ice on a jellyfish sting. You don't wee on it. You don't wee on it. That is like, no, friends invented that. That is not true. Like as soon as I got stung, there was girls in the water and they were like, wee on it, wee on it. And I was like, no, you don't wee on a jellyfish sting. I knew this because Adam last year got stung out here and I Googled it for him. Um, yeah, at Blue Marlin. So you put the cream on, salt water, like sea water is good for it. Or, um, cold water but yeah not ice no, hot oh hot water is that um but yeah i just put the cream on and it took about four hours for the stinging to go but last night adam was obviously so drunk he kept no it, it it was still stinging when i was getting ready adam said it takes two hours it was still stinging while i was getting ready it was still stinging in the night adam kept grabbing my arm and i was like adam my jellyfish sting um, but yeah, it's gone down now. It's still like lumpy though. You can still see like the tentacle thing on it. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, you can still like see where the tentacle wrapped around me. Yeah, story to tell. Story to tell Pollyanna, isn't it? So, I'm just going to go and drink my pump Coca-Cola. I'll catch up with you later. Maybe on a jet ski. Who knows? <laughs> dinner tonight and we managed to get into La Olivia. Annie's Ibiza is over there. So we're out tonight. I'm actually wearing the same dress as last night. We managed to get into La Olivia, Olivia um, without a reservation. So we're so, so, so lucky. And then I'm going to pop into Annie's straight after. I've not had a dessert the whole time that we've been here, I don't think. Airport attire, we're leaving and it's miserable, rainy and very, very stormy. This is a set from Zara. It's the contour ribbed set and it's so comfy. I've got my pretty lavish wrap dress on, so it's actually a dress that wraps around. But I've worn it as like a cardigan. Um, and again, my studio by Charlotte Sandals. On the way out here, I wore cowboy boots, but I've managed to squeeze them into here. Having a little bit of a dilemma, but yeah, it's a bit of a problem.
So, let's start yesterday. We stayed on Cala Sarita Beach and then we just chilled. We had lunch at Cotton Beach Club. Um, Adam treated us to a massage while we were eating lunch. Well, we had actually finished. Um, and then after that, we went out on the jet skis. It was so much fun. And then I was filming Adam on his phone. And basically his phone had broken. It got wet. The bag, they like gave us a bag to put the phone into. Like you'll see the clip, he like sprays me with water. And I obviously got water in the bag. And didn't realize and his phone was in it and his phone has annoyingly broken. All of our information is on it. What is it? All the things fit to fly and stuff like that. All of that is on there. We've managed to find up his emails and get into his emails. So basically he had forgotten his email password as well. So we've managed to get everything that we need. But last night when we tried to do our passenger locator form, so to get back into the UK, you need to prove that you have day two tests at home and you have to fill in a passenger locator form. We've got our day two tests at home but we didn't have a photo of them. Like you get a code on the box and Adam had taken a photo of it because he knew that we needed it to put into the passenger locator form to get home. So this morning we had to call his mum, get his mum to go to our house and take a photo of the boxes again with the codes. And we've got that. .co.uk or .com? .co.uk. So we've got all of that and then trying to fill out the passenger locator forms again this morning. They take about half an hour. So yeah, we have been trying to fill them in and it just keeps saying that our day two tests aren't working so therefore it doesn't let you complete the passenger locator form, therefore you can't get home. We've just spoke, we've got to the airport like a, quite a bit early to speak to the, like the TUI reps. We're flying home with TUI and we are now buying Chronomics ones. Number 22. Yeah. Um, so the ones that we use to get here, um, the ones that we have at home are Randox ones and the TUI rep said um, he knows that Chronomics you get an email straight away so we're hoping we're going to get a code, you just need like the confirmation code basically to prove that you ha have day two tests at home waiting for you when you get home, which we obviously do but for some reason it's not registering and it's a Saturday so the company is closed so we can't call them. Like there's nothing we can do apart from buy more tests and just hope that we get an email straight away. But it's been very, very stressful this morning. Like obviously we had to get help from his mum to go and get fit. And just a little warning for everyone when you're coming away. Don't put them all on one phone, send them to each other so that both of you have it. Even send them to somebody else maybe just in case. Like, cause imagine if both of our phones were in that bag, both of our phones would have broke. We would have had nothing. We've luckily got our fit to fly. We got that from our doctors, so it wasn't on our phone. Normally you have to like log into the NHS app, but we've actually got that in our hand. So that's the other thing. Try and get everything printed and in your hand. My anxiety is like through the roof. Um, but oh yeah, and then last night we went to La Olivia. I've been waiting to go there for like three years. Every time we've come, it's been fully booked. Last night we were so lucky. They put us on a table outside on the very end, like on the outside row. It was so good and the food was amazing. I finally had pasta. I've been eating steak like every single day. Um, so it was nice to have something different. And then we went to Annie's, which is just opposite. I'm obsessed with Annie's. She started like to have it with a, with a vintage store, well, a vintage market in London. And now she's got like an amazing shop in Ibiza, which is iconic, like Kate Moss shops there, Paris Hilton. And now she's just opened a store in London as well. It's like, it was amazing to go in there. Like I follow her on Instagram and I follow the shop. It's amazing. But yeah, it was a really nice night. We took a wander around the old town and then we picked up Pollyanna a little present it was a little necklace I'm so excited to give it to her and then this morning like I sent flowers to um, my sister and nanny and granddad to say thank you for looking after the kids so like trying to do that as well it's just been very hectic 
so look what I got her. It's so cute. It's got like a cupcake on it as well somewhere. Skull. <laughs> She'll probably like that. Yeah, like little cupcake, little flowers. So pretty and it's a little necklace so she'll love that.